Howdy. My name is Herb, and we're not in the workshop this week. Uh, we're actually in my Radio Shack uh, slash uh, uh, reloading room. I'll uh, give you a little history. I, uh, I've been involved with guns, uh, I guess, ever since I was about 12 years old. And uh, I've had a uh, federal firearms license since 1976. And I, uh, I sell guns, uh, don't do much advertising, uh, mostly word of mouth, but basically what I do is uh, I buy, buy wholesale and uh, add uh, about a 10% markup and uh, pass that savings along to my customers. Uh, in this video, uh, I, uh, Harold, uh, published a video this week about his reloading and I thought I would show off my uh, reloading setup. Uh, it's a, uh, a Dillon 650 which is not the Cadillac but I would say it's a it's a uh, uh, strong contender and basically it's a it's a turret press it has interchangeable uh, heads and all you have to do is pull a couple of pins, slide this in, and put your uh, powder drop on there. Uh, this particular one has the uh, the powder check. This is a 327 Federal uh, die uh, die set, and it has the uh, uh, decapping and uh, sizing die. This is the powder powder drop, powder check. On this side, uh, it's the bullet seating, and this is the bullet cr bullet crimping die. So, uh, and this particular one here have the the uh, powder uh, or the uh, decapping and uh, 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 sizing die powder drop, there's no uh, powder check, and uh, this is the bullet seating and the bullet crimping. Uh, so the idea behind this is every time you uh, pull the handle, uh, you uh, get another bullet. Up top here, this is a uh, 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 bullet or a case feeder and you dump your empty cases in there and it uh, puts them in the right position and drops them down this tube so that's uh, that's pretty well it uh, I have uh, some uh, uh, copper plated uh, hollow points that I'm loading this is a 45 ACP die set so I'm uh, loading 45 ACP and uh, you place the bullet on, that's the only thing you have to do manually and pull the handle. You push it down, that automatically sizes it, drops the powder, seats the bullet and on the other side if you've got one in there, which I do, it uh, crimps the bullet out. So it's all done, then it drops, drops one in the bucket here. So. And every now and then you get one that uh, doesn't want to cooperate. So you have to adjust that. I have been able to do uh, uh, several hundred an hour uh, with this thing. Uh, forgot to put a bullet in there at that time. That's what I get for talking. Uh, There you go. That's uh, that's uh, basically uh, how it works. And uh, so I wanted to show Harold that uh, this has been a really uh, good uh, uh, reloading press. I reload 223s, uh, 45 ACP, nine millimeter. I was loading 327, but I've sold all my 327 guns. 
357 38 special uh, I uh, did uh, 32 H&R uh, and 32 uh, Winchesters uh, let's see what else I got up there uh, and 45 long coat uh, before I retired I was doing uh, I was shooting over a thousand bullets a, a week and so uh, I uh, <coughs> excuse me had to reload my own I also cast my own bullets I don't have any handy here but uh, I uh, melt down uh, wheel weights and uh, into ingots and then I have a uh, a set of dies to do uh, nine millimeter 45 uh, hollow points uh, I got uh, 38 specials and uh, I was also uh, involved in cowboy action shooting which you shoot uh, uh, about uh, two boxes of, of uh, 38 specials per per match and that uh, uh, I was shooting uh, a lot of those so uh, anyway this is my loaded reloading press and I wanted uh, and uh, Harold always tells a redneck joke well I want to tell an Aggie joke and for the those of you folks uh, that are not from Texas you may not understand that Aggies uh, are all always uh, uh, made fun of. Uh, they, uh, uh, I guess that's a Texas, Texas A&M rivalry. Uh, but Texas A&M are the Aggies. My uh, daughter went to the University of Texas, oldest daughter, and her husband is a graduate of of Texas A&M. So it's uh, quite a match up there, but. Uh, Anyway, I'll get on with my uh, Texas A&M or Aggie joke. This Aggie was uh, riding along the road there outside of College Station one day and uh, saw a great big bullfrog in the road. So he stopped and, and uh, put the bullfrog down in the, the seat next to him and he drove around for a little while longer and Finally, he said, I wonder if these stories are true. So he reached over and picked up the bullfrog and gave it a kiss. And uh, the bullfrog turned into a beautiful princess. And then the princess reached over and kissed the, the Aggie. And do you know what the Aggie turned into? A motel. Not all Aggies are dumb. So, that's my joke. Uh, Harold, you're you're uh, <laughs> you're going to have to come up with a good Aggie joke there. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.